Hello guys, welcome to my Lionheart Legacy of the Crusader gameplay walkthrough series. Please enjoy. Yeah, so I don't, I really don't know how this will affect my karma. I hope it won't affect it badly, because they're bad. But I will just go for the experience and kill all these bastards. Because in theory I've cured them, but they still are in this form. Oh, I hear, I think there was one of them, which had like the sword of someone, which I may need for a future, uh, for a future quest for uh, the, how they're called, the, oh, I forgot, that order. Yeah, that's the one. So, Sword of Eduardo. Okay. Okay, so he dropped Juanita's locket. Okay, so <laughs> so that's another item. Yeah, if we were to side with um, the thieves, then I should have brought her this locket. But since I long have killed Juanita. Is anyone here? Did I kill you all? Okay, so that path goes to the troll pit. I think I've cleaned most of them.
I think this is it. Or, or are there some more here? No. Now I can go outside and finally start the uh, the joining faction quest. Initiation of the Wilders, Inquisition, Rank Choice, Explore Barcelona. Okay. Hold citizen, go no closer, no one is allowed to enter the cathedral, you should not even be on the steps. Oh, that's the cathedral. We'll go there later, I think. Yeah, Order of the Crusaders. I, I forgot this word, Crusaders. So yeah, when I got here first time, they were uh, talking. Except that they're not anymore. Uh, Knight Templar, Knight Templar, Sir Auric. What business do you have in the armory? You're not of the order, and I certainly did not send for you. What is the order are you talking about? I belong to an order of warriors known as the Knights Templar, sworn guardians of the people of Europe. We stand vigil over the holy relics to ensure that evil will never again call forth the disjunction. Okay, so how can I become a knight? So, you think you have the metal to become a knight. Have you any idea how heavy a burden it is to be a knight? Do you think your shoulders so broad and strong as to bear this burden? Let me prove to you that I am worthy of becoming Knight Templar. Though I have my doubts, I will give you this one chance to prove your worth. If you can help me with a problem, Perhaps I will recommend that you be considered for the initiation trials. Okay. Our patrols are spread out across Europe to enforce peace, yet our own city suffers from rampant crime. The merchants of the port demand that the activities of the thieves be curbed. And there is one thief in particular that I would like someone to deal with. Would you do this task for me? I am certain that I have already eliminated the threat. He operated in the alley, but he is no more. I must say I'm impressed. You have earned my trust and proven your convictions. I will sponsor you for the initiation trials. Go speak with Lord Javier in the cathedral to begin the formal initiation for knighthood. Thank you, Sir Auric. I will speak with Lord Javier. So we got 250 experience. Can we look what we have in the chest or will they kill us? You would steal from the okay. armory of the Knights Templar? Yeah. Or perhaps time in the Inquisition chambers will teach you some manners. Guards, <sighs> remove this. So definitely, it was it wasn't a good idea to try to steal from my fellow Templars. I think you know it's just my assumption that when will become a full-fledged you know uh, Templar. Uh, then we'll be able to uh, steal whatever there is in the chest. Okay, hold citizen, go no closer, no one is allowed to enter the cathedral. You should not even be on the steps. Sir Auric instructed me to speak with Lord Javier. Ah well, in that case you may enter. Okay. I think there are some hidden stuff here, so it's a good habit to always have, you know, the search option um, included or activated, I should say. There are some, uh, you know, there there is a basement here, but we'll go directly to. Welcome to the Barcelona Cathedral, traveler. I am Lord Javier Fernandez of the Knights Templar. How can I be of service? Sir Auric said he will sponsor me to become a Knight Templar. Auric is a shrewd judge of character, so you must possess some great potential. 
Are you sure you want to become an initiate? Yes. The life of a Knight Templar is not all honor and glory. It is a hard, ascetic life. We have many duties and responsibilities to safeguard the peace of Europe. Uh, okay. I'll take the risk. Very well. Every initiate is required to donate a thousand gold to the order. Do you have the gold or do you need more time? Uh, whatever. Very good. You are now an initiate of the Knights Templar. In order to be knighted, you will need to complete quests for the order to prove your honor. Seek yes. out Esteban at the Wilderness Crossroads and do as he asks. Return to me when you complete his tasks. Good luck, initiate. Uh, well, <laughs> it's been a long time since I, you know, completed Esteban's tasks. Your progress is most impressive. Yeah. For your next task, you will need to speak with Sir Auric. Okay. It seems one of our patrols has failed to report back. Hmm. Speak with Auric to find out what is going on. Then return here when you have done as he has asked. Good fortune okay. to you. So now, in theory, yes, as you can see, we have much, much less active quests. That's because we just failed some of them. Like we failed to become wielder, we failed to become member of Inquisition. Uh, yeah, we failed to kill the Dryad, collect wood cutter's eyes, and create the Wand of Spirits. Okay, donate to the Inquisition, and a couple more. So we gained 200 experience for clearing the crossroads uh, menace. If I call can call it so. Uh, who is Sir Auric? Welcome back, young one. How can this knight serve you? Lord Javier sent me here to get my next initiation quest. The path to knighthood is not an easy one. I sense that you have the strength and nobility to succeed. If you are indeed ready, I have an important task for you. I am ready for the task. Please continue. One of our fellow knights went into the sewers yesterday looking for a lost boy. He has failed to report in. I would like you to enter the sewers and investigate. Return with news when you have it. Well, I've already saved the knight. Thank you. You have done a great service for the knights and your bravery will not be forgotten. Here is your reward. What else would you like to ask? I have other questions. Ask your question then. What is this place? This is the armory for the Knights Templar. Though it is mostly barren now, in rare times of peace, it is filled with stacks of clean blades and bows. These days, most weapons are claimed, so you will find few things of interest. Just the same, stay clear of the remaining storage chests. <laughs> yeah, that's why he didn't like when I tried to steal from the chest. So for the last quest for saving that uh, poor knight from the sewers we got 500 experience and 200 gold. Not bad if we were like at level 3 but for us at level 14 is not that is not a lot. So we have mm, 2000 more to get to the next level. Welcome back, traveler. How can I be of service today? I have completed Oryx quests. Well done, young one. You show great promise. For your next task, you will create your own lion shield, a symbol of honor and commitment to the Knights Templar. Okay. To forge the lion shield, seek out Eduardo the blacksmith. He will be able to fashion it for you, or at the least, tell you what he needs to make it. Once you have your shield, return here and we will speak more. Okay. Good fortune to you. Yeah, so after reporting to him, we got another, another 200 uh, XP, which again is not bad. So now we should go into the gate district.
The thing is that I should already have all the materials uh, required by uh, Eduardo. Welcome back to Eduardo's blacksmith shop. Come to see what weapons and armor I have that might interest you, no? Mm, let me see what you have for sale. That's it. Okay. Welcome back to Eduardo's I've been told to shop. forge a lion shield. See, what and, oh, see, see, you've come to the right place. But what you ask, my friend, is no easy task. Fashioning a lion shield, it is more than simply pounding hot metal upon the anvil. It requires a test of valor, of bravery on the part of the owner to give the shield its strength, its spiritual center. A test of bravery? Like what? It so happens I have just the task. A filthy beggar named Felnash, may all the devils and hell dog his steps until his dying day, has stolen a sword from me. A sword fashioned by my father, no less. That coward has fled into the sewers, no doubt in fear of the beating he would receive at my hands. Wait a minute. Is this your sword? The blade! Gracias. Oh, at last my father shall sleep easily in his grave. I shall speak of your generosity far and wide. Ah. Uh, but as far as the item you requested, there is a small problem. Yeah, I thought so. Unfortunately, I have all the materials I need except for uh, a deposit of magnetized silver. I know it is much to ask, but I will need you to get some for me. <laughs> Don't worry, I have some magnetized silver with me. You have it? Magnifico! I shall get on what you requested straight away! Excellent. I look forward to finally hold the shield in my hands. Here you go. Here is the lion shield. I am quite proud of that one. Is there anything else Eduardo can do for you? Uh, yes. What can Eduardo do for you? You would like some weapons and armor, no? Okay. Claro, claro. But please return again if you are in need of the finest steel in Barcelona. And if not you, send your friend. Eduardo is open to all. So, we got some experience, but not a lot, from completing the last uh, um, quests, so, um, yeah, just uh, over 1200 more, and I'll get one more level. Oh, let me see the shield. So, where is the shield? Oh, so it's a quest item. Okay. Hmm. Does this mean that I can use it? Yes, I can. Attack speed minus seven. Not really what I need. But as it's usually the case, you cannot wear a, wear a shield with um, a bow or a crossbow. Although, yes, in some case there are some uh, small crossbows that you can wear in uh, in one hand so uh, before going inside I would take my other chest armor just to be sure no it's not here just to be sure that I get all the 20 HP uh, no skill points and I already have 20, which I haven't used from my last um, upgrade. Welcome back, traveler. How can I be of service today? I have forged my land shield. Splendid. Your shield is of remarkable craftsmanship. May it guard you well. You will need it in your next and final task. Okay. Slavers have been preying on the citizens of Barcelona for too long, and it is time to put an end to them. I would like you to find the slaver pits and deal with their leader. When you have completed your mission, return here. I've already convinced the leader of the slavers to leave. He will not trouble Barcelona again. You are one of the most promising knights I have seen in years. Yes, I am. I am proud to bestow upon you the title of knight and welcome you to the Order of the Knights Templar. Okay. Now that you have joined the Order, 
I can confide in you. It concerns a matter that imperils all of Europe. I have convened a council of my most trusted knights to see what can be done. I would like you to join us. Okay. My fellow knights, thank you for coming so promptly. We are faced with a grave threat. Lord Javier, my liege, the Knights Templars stand ready for duty. I fear the dark forces intend to gather the relics and use them for some sinister purpose. To ensure the safety of the other hidden relics, I dispatch a party of knights to Montserrat to protect the crown of thorns. They have no return, so we must assume the worst. Uh, tell me more about the relics. The holy relics are objects of great divine power, each possessing the power of creation. In the hands of the pious, they can bring about great things, though wicked hands can use their power to bring about terrible evil. For centuries, it has been the duty of both the night orders to keep the holy relics of the east and west safe. What is the crown of thorns? It is a holy relic. The same thorn-covered crown worn by Christ during the crucifixion. Hmm. The crown was hidden long ago in Montserrat, so that the forces of darkness could never use its powers again. Okay. I have no other option that than going to Montserrat. Just tell me where to go. Montserrat Abbey lies some 50 miles to the northeast. I shall mark the path on your map. You must travel with all speed to Montserrat to see if our enemies have stolen the crown of thorns. Okay, use the crystal and the crossroads outside of the town to take you there. Okay. So they should go, be gone. Yeah, but I haven't seen the basement. Okay, so what did we get by finally fully becoming a member of the Templar? Um, how is it called? Order. Yeah. So we got five modifier to HP in total. Yeah. Eight modifier to one hundred melee. Eight to two hundred melee. We don't care of both. But what we do care is 8 modifier to ranged weapons, 1 modifier to HR, and EN. What is EN? I have no idea. So, HR is healing rate. Okay. Oh my god, it's 6 now. Wow. That's cool. So, I guess we also got 1, because we had 4 before. So we got one for becoming a member and the second uh, because we uh, upgraded one level. As for EN, what is EN? Endurance, okay. Um, the character, oh, general health, the character ability to withstand punishment, physical exertion. Endurance directly affects the character's hit points. Endurance of 6 or above will increase poison and disease resistance. Okay, so we have poison and disease resistance increased. Great, great. And we have 40 points to spare, which we will next time we get into trouble. What? I can go. Oh, no, I can. Okay, so we got 150 experience. You have found a cache of hidden mini fluid stone on the ground. 12 gold, that's not a lot. What is this? You see this sarcophagus of a saint. What do you want to do? Attempt to open it. A voice fills the room below. You leave the holy one alone. Attempt to open it. You are warned. Once again. You are warned. Once again. What? 
Is there a way to open it? be a way to open it, it's just I don't know it. Now our healing rate should, you know, the increase of healing rate should be very welcomed because we should restore our uh, life now much much faster. So I don't know, I think we, we finished here in Barcelona. I, I guess we cleared all the you know, the mini maps around the Barcelona of what was to be cleared. So now we can advance. We should go now to the, onto the crossroads and use the stone there. I hope that stone will malfunction and will teleport us to another ethereal plane and we'll have to fight someone or something hmm I'm honored that you have chosen to do the business with me can I interest you in some of my stock so interesting so now we had like regular stock okay which already was quite good you know in comparison with other merchants fire badge okay full resistance and this is what divine spell but we also have the special supplies mm. evasion 21 hmm strength and this is what 50 and separate you know what i'll spend a little bit of time trying to find something interest and i'll be back in a second yeah, unfortunately I wasn't able to find anything of use for me. I was looking especially for a composite bow with higher stats than mine. And I haven't found one. Yeah. Um, although this scimitar is a unique item, because I got it as a quest reward, I will sell it. Because it's waiting something and it's distracting to having uh, it uh, in my um, inventory okay so off we go to Montserrat where is the stone? it's here as usual I will save just before going there Okay, crossroads and Mongol camp, slave pits, Irio Ebro, Montserrat. Oh, it's not very far. A different loading screen. Okay, so we start here. So this map is called Grow at Montserrat. Let's explore it. So Protect the relic, okay. Safety of the relic, okay. Use magic crystal to teleport there directly. Yeah, I don't think there is a ground, a ground access way. Oh, 152 experience for killing one. That's not too bad. Okay. 
So there is an entrance there. I don't know, should we go right away or should I explore, explore more? So these green ones give us 152 XP per kill and these uh, blue ones, or purple ones, they give us less, 111 I think. Yeah, let me go check. Just bears. <laughs> Hey, I saved a, you know, a friend of yours, Fang. You can check him on the crossroads. Just for you one experience, for killing one. Hmm. I'm thinking, was it a good idea to kill these uh, bears? So I'll go outside before I go in there and just spare them. Because if needed I can always go back. The sounds that they make are very similar to, you know, sounds made by women playing tennis. Okay, so there is another den or pen. Okay, so there's wasps, so I don't think we will hurt ourselves if we kill wasps. Basically we started our career by killing wasps and wolves. Yeah, and I'm wearing the wrong boots. Haha, <laughs> 49. 
Sekunde. Okay. Oh my god, there's so many of them here. Oh, these are a lot more powerful. Yeah, and they give more experience. I should probably invest a little bit into this skill, like at least 10 points. Oh, well we have already another, but I don't think I'm gonna use anything else than this skill. Their poisonous effect is stronger.
So I think this is the exit. So we will find now the entrance. Maybe I should invest even more. Like now we get four to eleven hit point points per per corp. Corpse. Let us invest ten more. Now we'll get four twelve. <laughs> Not a lot more, but you know, for the peace of my mind, to know that I at least uh, at least invested in something. Okay, we found a trap. More dead people and not people, monsters. Well, I don't think it's a it's an expensive uh, shield. Okay, so this is one of those red ones. You know, let me check. just once, uh, just one, and I got like, uh, I think 80, 86 experience. Uh, now I think I may die. I think I killed three of them. So yeah, a little bit of experience. And they also dropped some money. Okay. Oh no, they are just three times.
that's it for today, we run out of time. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe. Thank you all for watching, see you next time.